We're on Cones Dyke Trail and yeah, we're descending into the prairie basin. Getting ready to go through the gate here. We can hear the prehistoric sounds of the sandhill cranes and it looks like we're entering Jurassic Park. Well, the mosquitoes just got thick. I think we're the first people to come down this trail this morning. I'm knocking out cobwebs. <laughs> yeah, if we're knocking out cobwebs, we're the first. All right, the adventure begins. What's uh, the nickname for this? Uh, for ducks. ducks. The Serengeti. Uh, you compare yeah. this to the African Serengeti. Yeah. There he is. There goes an eagle carrying some nesting material. America. I wonder if he's going to that nest that we took the picture of. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he is because it's in that same area. Cool. Yep. Yeah, yesterday. Kim uh, spotted an eagle's nest close to the visitor center. I like this place. You Holy. do have to watch where you step. <laughs> that one's a horse for sure. I just saw his tail flip and it's fat. How about the one on the far right? There's one over on the right by itself. Yeah, I can't quite tell. Okay, that one's a horse too. He just put his head okay. up. We're trying to. They're shaggy. Determine so. if we got. Okay, yeah, they're looking at us now. That one. Yeah. Trying to figure out if we got some bison in the area, but they're all horses. Wild cracker horses. Kim spotted some deer on the on another piece of property adjacent to the preserve here. Well, there she goes. <laughs> Group of sand hills just took flight. There's still a bunch of them over here. So if we get up on them real quiet like the snail birds are the ones that scared them. Yeah, they're having no part of it, huh? white one. There's the wild horses grazing out in the basin. Nice herd, too. Are these shiitake mushrooms? <laughs> well, they're in the right spot for it. That's gross.
I think there's some good bass fishing out there. It sure looks like it. Mm -hmm. There he goes. We're going to the Lachua Trail at the Alachua Sink. Where we're we going. So as a sign was saying, this is where the uh, cattle from the camp ranch were herded through off of the prairie, then off to market. Because the trains ran overhead. Oh, look, the heron. We got a visitor with us. We decided to stick around while we're setting everything up. It's this little guy right there. And he's still hanging out with yeah, us. Yeah, lizard. He has like no fear. Right on the edge here. Instead of Camp Kitty, we have Camp Lizard. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight we're having turkey, mashed potatoes, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, that's cilantro or parsley? Sage. Sage. I mentioned gravy. Gravy with the mashed potatoes. Give me gravy with the mashed potatoes. And the lizard's still there. What's up? Maybe he's hungry. Maybe he's petrified. <laughs> well, he had plenty of opportunity to move when I was setting up the stove. Maybe he's waiting for the flies to come so that he can catch them. Maybe he's evolved. Smart. Well, we're not stinking yet, so I mean from the food. From the food. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a camp tip: if you're only going out for a couple of days, prepackage your meals. I had all my vegetables cut up in here, or fresh herbs cut up, and then a package in the top there, and then I had all of the dry components in its own little Ziploc bag. So that when it comes time to eat, everything's already pre-measured, pre-cut. All you gotta do is throw it together. Easy peasy. How hungry are you? No. Hungry enough. I mean, we're not throwing any of that away. I no. guarantee you that. <laughs> <laughs> there. If that doesn't feed you, you have yeah. something wrong with you. Oh, good God, that's a lot of food. <laughs> well, you know, it didn't look like that much. There's one turkey leg. It's, whoa, you got a little basil in there, too. I know, it's just an oak leaf. <laughs> yeah, the meat is from one turkey leg. It didn't look like that much. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be making some mountain house after this, but probably not. We got leaves raining down on us. It was hickory nuts this morning on top of the fan. They were loud. The squirrels up there knocking them off. It's funny because 
Kim looked at the uh, clock and it said seven o'clock. She said, oh, well, they're allowed to make noise. That's what time you can start making noise in the campground so we didn't get too mad at them. That smells good. All right, turn it off. We're going to commence to eating food. Bye.